Hi, my name is Magnus. Uh, I'm about to show you some progress on the xsocket.net WebSocket server. Uh, we have been working a lot, a lot um, uh, the latest two months, um, especially with the protocols as well as the JS APIs and uh, uh, the configuration of the server. Uh, what I'm about to show you today is uh, how we can use the file API to send blobs from our web browsers to the uh, WebSocket server uh, and receive those, write those to disk and broadcast those back to uh, all those clients listening to the specific socket. Uh, for those of you that has been working with um, xsockets.net, uh, know that we have model binding support, etc. And uh, now we're giving you the opportunity to, to combine those different types of messages, binary messages as well as uh, text messages according to the latest versions of the protocol. Uh, that's what, what we have been focusing on uh, the latest time. <coughs> so let's start. Uh, we will have a look at the, uh, the client in this, in this case. It's an HTML5 page. Uh, and we will also have a dependency to jQuery and our new uh, version of the JavaScript uh, APIs. Uh, in this case, I will be using um, just one of those handlers. It's the binary WebSocket handler. Um, as you see here, I'm creating an instance of the uh, xsocket.core.handlers.binary, uh, which is a specific handler written for this demo. Uh, I will also bind the event uh, for open, which which will be fired by the, uh, the web browser when we have a proper connection to the, to the WebSocket server. Uh, when this is done, I will send some text to the, to the, uh, to the web page. I will also bind a event to the input element of my page, which is a file dialog. Uh, and I will also uh, see that uh, when the user selects a file, this file will be brought a file of files will be broadcasted to the server uh, by invoking the send method of the JavaScript API. Uh, this is uh, a little bit different uh, compared to uh, things that we have seen before by triggering events with, uh, with names, etc. Uh, further on, we have a subscription or listener to the blob event that will be fired by the uh, JavaScript API. Uh, we will receive a blob. Uh, which is the, the binary object sent by the server or by the client. Uh, this <coughs> uh, we create a new reader uh, and it hooks up a event listener for the onload uh, event. Uh, when this is done, we just add a image to the uh, the div tag of our web page. I will show you rather soon. Uh, as well as we pass the blob into the data. Um, to the file reader. Uh, this is uh, the client. We have a input which we uh, subscribe to the change event, uh, and also we have a div tag here, uh, which is the placeholder for the incoming images. As you see, there is no images here. Uh, so let's have a short look at the WebSocket handler. In this case, the example handler, uh, which um, it's quite a simple thing. Uh, it just inherits the so XX base, and we will be um, having an event handler for the incoming um, messages. Uh, this is pretty much the simplest way of dealing with blobs. Uh, we will receive a event argument, uh, which will contain a list of bytes, and uh, that's the data uh, from our client. We will create a new image. And I will also write this image to the disk uh, as a PNG file. Uh, I will assume that the client sends images. Uh, for each and every connected user on the WebSocket server or handler, I will broadcast the file back to those who are listening. Uh, so let's start the server now. Uh, we can see here that the server uh, re registers a couple of protocols. Uh, in this case, you can see uh, that it registers uh, the protocol called um, uh, 
PB13 and a couple of those old ones. Uh, as the extra has support for uh, all the, the old protocols as well as new ones, um, you can easily add and remove protocols depending on what you want to uh, to do. Uh, we can see that there's a couple of plugins or handlers registered, uh, and as I show you, we will be sending and listing the data uh, from the xrx.core.handler.binary and uh, that's the C-sharp code I just showed you. Uh, so let's see how this looks like. Uh, let me find just find the page. Uh, there's loads of code here. Uh, let's see. Uh, here we have it. That's the Google browser. So we'll just stop debugging. No. Um, proceed. Um, in this case, you see a little web page. Uh, and I will show choose a file from my hard drive. I will choose a photograph of myself, and you can see that there is an image added to the to the document, as well as there is a incoming message on the development server. Um, uh, I can open up a new window and place it on the right side. Uh, and do the same. Uh, I will try to add a new image, an avatar of myself. Uh, I will try to add yet another image. You open. I uh, have to show you that this works even in three clients. Uh, we can add yet another window. Let's use the file. In this case, a screenshot of boot the dash. Uh, that's a game I'm working on right now. Uh, so that's quite cool. We can also have a look in the temp folder here, as you, you saw in the C sharp class, uh, where we're saving the files to C colon temp. This is pretty much the thing. Uh, I will post some code examples on my blog as well. And uh, hopefully, we will be able to release a new version of XSockets during Christmas. Uh, and I also want to invite you to the XSockets Code Camp in Stockholm uh, early next year. Have a nice evening and Merry Christmas.